Chevrolet is as American as baseball and apple pie. But do you know their whole story? Stay tuned to learn more. Chevrolet was founded in 1911, in Detroit, Michigan, by Swiss race car driver Louis Chevrolet, his brother Arthur, the founder of General Motors William C. Durant, and three other people. Since 1904 Mr. Durant had been the head of Buick, and there he had hired Louis Chevrolet to drive Buicks in promotional races. Chevrolet was originally developed as a junior model to Buick, and so it benefited from the technical advancements made by the Buick company. The prototype for the company's first car, the Series C Classic 6, was ready months before Chevrolet was incorporated, so only one pre-production model was made in 1912, and it was made ready for the final production model which was launched in 1913. In 1914 Louis Chevrolet sold his shares in the company to Mr. Durant because of differences between the two regarding design issues. By 1916 Chevrolet had enough success with their cheaper Series 490 model, to allow Durant to acquire a controlling interest in General Motors again. The deal was completed in 1918, and Durant became president of General Motors, and Chevrolet was merged into GM as a separate division. The first Chevrolet factory was located in Flint, Michigan. The Series D, a V8-powered Roadster and Tourer model was launched in 1918. The sales were poor and it was dropped in 1919. This year GMC commercial grade trucks were rebranded as Chevrolet. Chevrolet's corporate headquarters were located in New York until 1921 when they were relocated to the General Motors building in Detroit. This year a General Motors management survey recommended that the Chevrolet division should be cancelled. However it was saved with a new vice president of operations and the performance of the Chevrolet brand improved with this. During the 1920s, 30s and 40s Chevrolet was competing with Ford and since Plymouth came out in 1928 Ford, Chevrolet, and Plymouth were known as the low-priced three. In 1929 Chevrolet got a marketing edge over Ford with their new stove bolt overhead valve inline six-cylinder engine. In 1933 Chevrolet launched the Standard Six, which was advertised as the cheapest six-cylinder car on sale in the United States at the time. During the Great Depression the Chevrolet Master came out. This was followed by the Chevrolet Deluxe and the Chevrolet Fleet line during and after the war. During the 50s and 60s Chevrolet had great influence on the American automobile market, and in 1953 one of their most iconic cars came out, namely the Corvette. This was a two-seater sports car with a fiberglass body. In 1957 they introduced their first fuel-injected engine, the Rochester Ramjet as an option for Corvette and their Chevrolet Bel Air cars. In 1960 the compact car Corvair hit the market with a rear-mounted air-cooled engine. During the 60s and 70s, top sellers like the Chevrolet Impala, Chevrolet Chevelle, Monte Carlo, the Nova, and the Camaro. In the late 70s through the mid-80s, Chevrolet offered the smaller Vega and Chevette. However, when these were discontinued, Chevrolet imported several Japanese models and rebadged them as Chevrolets in order to have a line of competitive small cars. Examples of these include the Chevrolet Sprint and the Chevrolet Spectrum. In 1980 Chevrolet released the Citation as their first domestically produced front-wheel drive compact car. Later came the mid-sized sedan Lumina, the minivan Venture, and the popular SUV Trailblazer, which in turn was succeeded by the Chevrolet Traverse. Chevrolet's basic small-block V8 design has been in continuous production since its debut in 1955. It has been in production longer than any other mass-produced engine in the world. GM relaunched the Chevrolet brand in Europe in 2005 using rebadged versions of Daewoo cars. In 2010 Chevrolet started production of their plug-in hybrid Chevrolet Volt, and in 2016 they launched their all-electric model Chevrolet Bolt. Chevrolet, through its owner GM, is now represented all around the world, although their main market has always been the domestic US market. Some of their current models include the Silverado, Suburban, Tahoe, Tracker, and the electric vehicles Equinox EV, Bolt EUV, and the Blazer EV. With such a strong foothold in their domestic market, where they still are the most popular brand, Chevrolet seems to have a secure place in the automotive market.